second chance to sing a brand new song You opened up my eyes to see You rescued me, rescued me You showed the way when there was no way out Cleared up my mind when you erased all doubt You made me strong when I Kids for Jesus and Friends, welcome to St. Hilda's Anglican Church Sunday School. Last Wednesday, also known as Ash Wednesday, we entered the Lenten season. Lent is a time to focus on God and prepare to remember and celebrate Jesus' dying on the cross and rising from the grave to save each and every one of us. In other words, it is a time of prayer, reflection, repentance, and fasting. A period of remembering Jesus' sacrifice for us. Our story today is from Luke chapter 4, verses 1 to 13. It is about Satan's temptation of Jesus. After he was baptized by John in the river Jordan and entered the wilderness to pray. Do you know what being tempted means. Being tempted is when you want to do something even though you know it's wrong. When Satan went to tempt Jesus, he tried to make the Lord do things he knew was against the will of God. However, every temptation Satan put to Jesus, he overcame with scriptures from the Bible by answering, It is written. Jesus used God's word, the Bible, to defeat Satan. Satan couldn't stand up against the scripture. He tried three times to tempt Jesus and finally gave up when Jesus showed faith in the word of God. Let's listen to our story to hear the temptations Satan tried on Jesus and how Jesus responded to Satan. Before we do, let us pray. Dear God, thank you for the Holy Bible. Thank you for giving us words to say when we are tempted. We are glad that we can defeat temptation with Jesus' word. Amen. And Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit 
in the wilderness for forty days, being tempted by the devil. And he ate nothing during those days. And when they were ended, he was hungry. The devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, command the stone to become bread. And Jesus answered him, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone. And the devil took him up and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time, and said to him, To you I will give all this authority and their glory, for it has been delivered to me, and I give it to whom I will. If you, then, will worship me, it will all be yours. And Jesus answered him, It is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only shall you serve. And he took him to Jerusalem, and set him up on the pinnacle of the temple, and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down from here, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you to guard you, and on their hands they will bear you up, lest you stro strike your foot against a stone. And Jesus answered him, It is said, You shall not put the Lord your God to the test. And when the devil has ended every temptation, he departed from him until an opportune time. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Welcome to Craft Corner. Today, we're focusing on the temptation of Jesus. For this activity, we will need a black sheet of construction paper, a red sheet of construction paper, and a white sheet of paper. We'll also need a pen, a ribbon, marker, tape, or glue if you have, and a pair of scissors and a stapler. First, we're going to use the red paper to make a heart. We'll cut the heart out with the red construction paper. And then we'll cut a piece from the black that fits into... I go ahead. I went ahead and I cut it out just so it saves time. So we'll cut the black to fit. Then we'll um, cut the white a little bit smaller than the black. As you can see here, it's going to go in this part of it. Okay, for the white, we're going to fold it to make like a book. So we're going to fold it in half. And then we're going to fold that half into three. So we fold a third back and then forward. We'll flip it and we'll fold, do the same. Fold a third back and then forward. And it comes out like a fan. And that we're going to have to cut in half in order for it to fit on the black. Okay, so as you can see, I went ahead and do all these. When we cut it, we're going to put, staple it into the, the center of it onto the black. And later on, we'll tape it onto the red. Like that. Okay. And this is where we write our Bible verses from the temptation. Jesus' answer. Okay, next we're going to tape the white part onto the black or glue it if you have glue. Oops. Okay. And you do the back the same way. Tape it down. So the back, the last sheet and the first sheet is glued down to the black. And the center part was stapled. Okay, now we're going to um, write Jesus' code. Now, after Jesus was baptized, he was led into the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights, where he was tempted by Satan. Jesus answered Satan's request with three quotes from Deuteronomy. The first one, we're going to write it. I will read it, and then we'll just write it on the first part of our white sheet. 
It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Deuteronomy 8, verses, verse 3. That's the first answer that after Satan tempted him. Second one, it's, it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only shall you serve. That's Deuteronomy 6, verse 13. And the third one, it is written, You shall not tempt the Lord your God. That's Deuteronomy 6, 16. When Jesus did not yield to Satan, to Satan's temptation, Satan left him. So now we're going to write the first uh, from Deuteronomy 8, verse 3, and the first part. And we'll go ahead. It is written. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word <clears throat> that proceeds from the mouth of God. And that's Deuteronomy 8, verse 3. And the second one, Deuteronomy 6, verse 13, goes on the second part. And the third one, you can write it in when you find it is written, you shall not tempt the Lord your God. That's Deuteronomy 6, verse 16. Okay, now, after that, we're going to move to the red, to the heart. Pick the heart up. We're going to write Psalm 119, verse 11, right around. Okay, and we begin. You can use a marker or a pen, whichever you're comfortable with. And this is what it said. I have stored up, I have stored up your word in my heart. In my heart. That... I might not sin against you. I might not sin against you. And that's Psalm. One nineteen verse eleven. Okay, and that is what that looks like. Okay, so next we're gonna write the temptation of Jesus Christ at the bottom of the heart, right on the bottom here. Okay, now that we have that, we're going to glue the ribbon to the back of the black part or tape it. And then we're going to glue the black to the heart. 
So I'm gonna go ahead. And like that. Make sure it stays. So I just do that. Okay, now that my ribbon is not staying down. Okay, there you have it. Okay, that's the bookmark. This story reminds us of some very important things. It assures us that Jesus is with us and knows what we are going through. When challenging times or tough temptations come our way, we must, we must remember that Jesus has been through it all of it himself. He faced trials and overcame them so that he can understand our struggles and help us through them. Jesus assures us that nothing will come our way that will be too tough to handle. If we trust in him, the story tells us we should rely on the word of the of God. The Bible is not just a book of stories, it's a weapon against evil. If we try to face all our challenges on our own, we might be defeated. But when we rely on the scripture, nothing can defeat us. If God is for us, no one can be against us. He is our strength and shield, supporting us and always loving us. Prayer and Bible reading will get us through a lot. Thank you for joining today. Thank you to all who participated. See you next week. Dear God, thank you for helping us stand firm against temptation. Thank you for your solid word. Please help us to read it and trust it, and learn on your son for strength. Thank you for loving us. We love you, God. In Jesus' name, amen.